Hello and welcome to the top 100 maps of all time with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. And we've made it to number 61. A very, very playable map. This one, as you can tell just from the highway layout, you just know is good to go. Frankly, a beauty of a map. And very, very flat as well. I remember it being a little bit more undulated than it is down below, but apparently my memory is misleading me. What we have here is Imi Huli Trademarks Teal River with an 89% approval rating. That's 89% as voted by you at the end of each and every episode of What's Map. We come up with the very best map. You know what, this list, I think it's definitive. It's about the only way that you could do this without having everybody play every map. Everybody's had a look at every map review and has made their own opinions. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with our work. I'm pleased with your work. I love this list. Anyway, <laughs> what does this map require? Well, it's got a requirement list of 28 items off of the workshop. That said, as uh, Imi Hooley very, very uh, clearly puts it in the description, while it sounds like a lot of items, there's a road pack, which obviously all those use the same textures. So it's actually quite light. Uh, there are a few mods. Some of them aren't absolutely required. Things like node controller so or, and also theme mixer too. So you could play this one pretty lightweight if you are running a potato computer. Uh, speaking of theme mixer, we are using a mix of the solstice theme which is everything apart from the sand texture, which is Cedar Valley 4K. The LUT we're using today is the Relight 3 Average LUT. Um, the Tree Anarchy. Now, there's a little bit of a confusion, I feel, on the workshop page with Tree Anarchy. Uh, in the one-click collection, it is the unlimited tree mod, the old style. In the uh, required item list, it's Tree Anarchy, but it's a deprecated version. But it is the new modern style of Tree Anarchy, although it's the deprecated version of that. I immediately load this up with the new style of Tree Anarchy and no trees appeared. So uh, go with the old settings. If you're going to play this map, go with the old settings. Uh, unlimited tree mod, tree lod fix, all that sort of stuff. Um, it won't work with Tree Anarchy. Uh, right, there is a mass transit version of this map, although the one we're looking at here is no DLC required. Uh, it was uploaded to the workshop in November of 2021. It currently has 7,355 subscribers. 810 have marked it as a favourite. It has a five-star rating on Steam from 269 people who have rated it. Uh, I reviewed this in episode 1,383 of What's Map, giving it four stars for aesthetics, four for detail, five for gameplay potential. We can finally get down to ground level. What do you think? Wow. Start Square is here. This is the, uh, it's got a little bit of a pre-built um, city infrastructure just to inspire you. You can demolish it if you don't like it. Uh, why wouldn't you like it? Because you have your own ideas. That's my only, my only answer to that. And I think the most interesting route we could take is to start in the bottom corner here. Come up through, um, we've got a few little uh, interchanges here. Big interchange across a big old bridge. Next interchange, we'll take the right. So we can do this loop here, and that'll take us into the start square. I think that's the route we'll take today. Also, by the way, hang on, I know that we are using, um, it's a cube map above, but um, so this river isn't uh, using the vanilla sky, but this is teal. You know what my color vision's like, it's not the best. Is that teal? If it's teal, then I guess we can call that a winner. Oh look, this isn't actually an outside connection down here. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, um, network extensions two. I think that one is. I'm not going to look it up. In fact, I am going to. I am going to check because I, I, I don't want to not give you the information that you're after. Um, where is what road is that one? I, 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 I thought it was going to light up and go straight to it. Um. Bear with me a sec, just one second. I'm going to have a little look on the workshop. Oh, it's one of the, these custom roads. I beg your pardon. Yes, I did I did mention um, there was a custom road pack, didn't I? So I have given you the information. So ignore me. I'm just getting paranoid in my young age. So yes, not everything has an outside connection. 
Um, and we have got a little bit of game lag there that I don't know what's causing that at the moment in my game. It's not just this game as well. I'm having a little bit of a problem with um, a little bit of game lag in my Project Zomboid playthrough as well. Um, so I'm going to have to have a look at that at some point. Um, there we go. That's that uh, Cedar Valley sand texture. Just giving us that little appearance there. And then we'll head on through the map. So yes, it's it's a very flat map. Not a perfectly flat map, but a very flat map. So if you like an easy build, this is what you've got. If you like a sweeping build, this is what you've got. If you like a big city build, this is what you've got. If you want to do a big grid city style build, you can. If you want to do a European style city build, you can. It's, I mean, it's everything. It's absolutely everything in terms of gameplay, isn't it? Right, we were going to go through this one, weren't we, if I remember rightly? So we've got a little bit of um, early early map looping traffic going on there. I'm pretty sure that that is going to resolve itself. Once this traffic here sorts itself out, this will, um, this will start flowing. Because that's the only thing slowing that down, isn't it? With a couple of trucks coming in from the side. Hang on, let's just bring it over here. Let's give it just a couple of seconds. Just so you can be reassured that that traffic is going to sort itself out. There we go. It's starting to move now. And off she goes. So, yeah. Relax on that is what they say. Big old bridge. Everybody loves a big old bridge. One coming up ahead. Can't wait to have a look at this one. And cannot wait, uh, if you, uh, I haven't recorded this yet, I'm, I'm a few days ahead in terms of real life days with recording of this show at the moment. I uh, haven't yet recorded tomorrow's City Skylines 2 o'clock, the new news discussion and speculation show for City Skylines 1 and 2. I have a special guest tomorrow, and it's not the same special guest that we've had for the last two weeks. I, I, I enjoy having this old gamer on the, on the show. But um, having somebody a little bit different this week, hopefully, hopefully, I'm just waiting to have it all confirmed and then we'll have them, somebody a new voice, somebody new and different to talk about or talk with about the game and all the latest happenings within the game. Look at that intersection. Look at that. That is just, it, the thing is, you look at that, that feels totally 100% believable. I like that. I think it's a very nice design credit 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 then we have this loop around this uh this hill and again this makes perfect sense to me would you cut through the hill or would you build around the hill uh i think we would build around the hill and that's what we've gone and done here following the curve of the landscape which helps to accent the hill as well lets you know that there's a hill there and you're probably not gonna be building in it or we're building around it heading on down in towards the start square area now towards it so yes um if you haven't seen the new uh, the new show city skylines two o'clock 22 minutes of news chat discussion speculation banter all that kind of thing um and it's me and it's a special guest from a panel of i've got four people that have all agreed to be on the show so far having a little bit of a time getting everything up and running for everybody but uh we'll have everybody on regularly eventually i promise and maybe some new people as well as we go along anyway here's your start square and there is your pre-built city infrastructure just to get you started nothing to worry too much about there um did we have any pre-built pipes i'm wondering let's have a little look we did we have a little bit of pre-built pipe networking as well which no doubt connects up somewhere on the map to some outflows if in doubt and you're looking and you're going where do those pipes go to we do have the full review back in what map 1383 link to the review is in the description so it's definitely worth checking out if uh if you want more information on uh, things like the resources and Sunset Harbour fishing and all those sort of things. All of that is in the original review. Link to the map with all of these maps is always in the review as well. Oh, sorry, in the description as well. Big old bridge. Everybody loves a big old bridge. Striking, eh? Right, I think this map is, as much as anything... Um, is, is about the, the networking, the highways, the intersections, 
We've seen that one there. Where are we? It's fields. Simple clis clisp. It's clisp. It's crisp. Crisp fields. Big, bold, abundant fields marked out with the dirt tracks lined by trees. It's it's spectacularly simple and just goes to show that sometimes you don't actually have to do much and in this case they didn't <laughs> and yet look how good it looks look how look at now if we head out this way we do have some hills out this way so if you're looking to do a um a rural style build to your city here is where you're going to be doing that rural part of your build we have again a nice uh nice highway overpass underpass going on there dirt tracks little bridge over the little um isolated lake there looks very nice indeed and um and then that road heads up into the hills i've memories of some detailing or something down here I don't know. I remember talking about something with that lake. Maybe I just like the shape of the lake. Maybe I just like the um, the terrain leading up to the lake. I'm not sure. I remember. Maybe something hasn't loaded in. Maybe. Even if even if this map has got anything missing on it. Do you know what? It's still spectacular. Even if. Me, please let me know in the uh, in the chat if um, if you're looking at this going that doesn't look right but um, definitely gone with the solstice theme definitely got the uh, Cedar Valley sand definitely got really like three average LUT um, and but like I say the first load I did on this on this map it was broken because of tree anarchy but that was very quickly resolved and you've now got the information go with the old settings um, this is just startling, isn't it? And again, it's a lot of this is with the resource painting and uh, texture painting. If you have a look here, we have just a shape here. We have, you can see the fertile that's being painted into these areas as well. Then you have a different texture going on here. Um, the tree lines, uh, um, tree lined country lanes as well. And just some spectacular intersections spectacular marvelous i tell you marvelous that imihihuli is a spectacular map we even got rail i haven't even looked at the rail let me so let's do the rail bridge across the river okay for those rail fans that want to see the rail there are a few of you you have rumbled at me in the past you didn't show the rail all right we'll have a quick look at the rail and nothing to get uh too excited about here it's just perfection i mean what more do you want <laughs> what more do you want a uh, big old rail bridge oh a little bit of game lag there again sorry about that um everybody loves a big old rail bridge a little wider a little bit wider in the middle there to allow for boats i imagine and then it skips across a bit of land comes back to the land on the other side zumps all the way across the other side of the map i mean come on also, note, resource painting along here makes the rail line pop out a little bit more. Right, so, so that is Teal River, but I don't even know where to go with this. Um, let's, let's park it here, there we go. Uh, just trying to get enough of it so that the thumbnail is uh, makes you want to play it. There we go, I think I'd want to play that. Anyway, Teal River by Imihuli, a trademark, the 61st best map of all time as voted by you with the 89% approval rating. Another lovely builder's map. Right, we're going to be uh, gone for the weekend. We'll be back on Monday with the 60th best map of all time. Remember to join me tomorrow for City Skylines 2 o'clock with the mystery guest. You might know them already. You might. And then Sunday with the chart show. And of course, every now and then, when I get a bit of time, Project Onboid 
on my second channel, Bomb Bomb B2. A big shout out to all the uh, Bomb Bomb Buddies over on Patreon on YouTube membership for supporting the channel. You guys really are the very, very best. I've been Bomb Bomb B. You have been very, very welcome, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.